Juneteenth is officially a federal holiday to celebrate the emancipation of African American slaves. Because the holiday falls on Saturday this year, most federal employees will observe the holiday tomorrow. Rockdale County's first black female district attorney spoke to our Hope Ford about the holiday and why it's a chance to advocate for criminal justice reform in tonight's Voices for Equality. After the George Floyd protest in 2020, many businesses, cities, counties started to officially recognize Juneteenth, the day observing the end of slavery in America. So it was a little surprise when Rockdale County, a majority black county, voted to make Juneteenth an official holiday. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. But it may be surprising to hear the correlation between Juneteenth and the criminal justice system. Juneteenth, right, June 19th, 1865, was a day that commemorates specifically the freedom of slaves who were in Galveston, uh, Texas, who after two and a half years had just learned of their freedom. They had the right to be free, and yet they were denied that freedom for over two and a half years. That's the ultimate injustice. As the county's first black DA, Alicia Johnson, passed by a Confederate statue outside the courthouse ever since she was a law student. That is, until the summer of 2020 when it was taken down. While it was daunting for me, I could only imagine how it felt for those who were walking in as defendants, who were hoping to seek and receive justice in this courthouse. I knew that I had an obligation to always do the right thing to seek equity, to seek justice. Although more than a century and a half's passed since the freedom of those Texas slaves, some believe the criminal justice system still works to take freedoms away from African Americans at a higher rate, either through disproportionate policing, sentencing practices, or sitting in jail for crimes they haven't been convicted of. I would fix our approach to incarceration and correction. At one point in time, it used to be called rehabilitation, but it's no longer called that anymore because there are the programs that make be able to help individuals become better once they are released are no longer there. If we are going to have a prison system, I think we have work to do when it comes to what occurs once we send someone into custody. Johnson's work to introduce youth diversion and behavioral therapy programs and hopes to address alternatives to prison for minor crimes. Somebody like me who has who has an African American be able to look at the individuals and see them for their potential. I'm able to make recommendations when it comes to charging decisions, when it comes to what their sentence should be. I can make a recommendation that reflects ways in which they can be helped as opposed to just purely punitive and sending somebody to prison. For Johnson, Juneteenth is a day to celebrate freedom. Freedom from those individuals whose legal classification went from being property to humans. It's important for us to remember that there is humanity in the criminal justice system. We still have work to do when it comes to ensuring equity and fairness. 11 Alive is where Atlanta speaks, and that includes uplifting every voice. To see more stories from our Voices for Equality series, head over to 11alive.com voices.